Hello, I'm Serge from Trezor Support. Today, we're gonna to talk about something that's absolutely crucial for your device's physical security. Choosing a strong pin. Just like the pin for your bank card or mobile phone, this number should be kept private and known only to you. Let's dive in. Imagine someone gets hold of your Trezor device without the correct pin. They won't be able to access your funds. To protect you even further, Trezor has built in safeguards against brute force attacks. After every failed attempt, there's a delay before you can try again. And that delay doubles with each incorrect attempt. So even if someone tries to guess your pin, they're gonna have a tough time. Now, let's get into some tips for creating a secure pin. First, avoid repeating numbers. They might make your pin longer, but they don't make it strong. Second, stay well away from sequences like one, two, three, four. In fact, did you know 11% of all pins are one, two, three, four? It's one of the easiest combinations to guess. Third, the more digits, the better. We recommend a minimum of four digits, but if you want to step up your security game, we in support suggest going for six to nine digits. But just remember, you'll need to enter this pin each time. And finally, your pin can be up to 50 digits long, giving you plenty of room to create something truly unique and hard to crack. In summary, your pin is the foundation of your Trezor's physical security. By following these guidelines, you'll keep your device safe from unauthorized physical access. We hope you found this video helpful. Your security is our top priority. And if you ever need help, Trezor support is just a click away. Thanks for watching.